Hi friends, welcome to SAP Learning Step by Step. I request everyone to subscribe my channel which will give motivation to make more useful videos in the upcoming days. Today in this class we will see about the revisions. Uh, why we, what is revision and why we use the revisions and what is the business scenario mapping. You will see all the things in this uh, video. So revisions are used to group the larger services or maintenance task under one number. So revisions are used to group the maintenance order under one number. So we can track the maintenance orders and collect the cost of the all those maintenance order using the revisions. So that is the main purpose that we can utilize for some maintenance purposes. Larger maintenance like uh, shutdown maintenance that we will see in scenario mapping. So second point let me go to second point. Enter the revision numbers can be entered in the notification or order and used to summarize several notifications. So that is what we discussed. And the third one revisions can be assigned to notification and order if it has status or open. So revision has, revision has the status opened or released. So during, during this status only it can be assigned to notification and order. And revisions can be closed. It can be closed only when the assigned notification or orders it is closed so after the notification or order is closed in status then only not the assigned the revisions can be closed what is the last point so uh, revisions can be closed or deleted if no notifications or order are assigned to it so if any any orders or notifications is assigned and it is opened and you cannot delete or close the revisions that is what uh, in the last point it is mentioned so then we will see about that uh, revision features what are all the features we have it in the revisions features means what are all the data we can enter in the revisions so revisions here we can enter start date and the end date start time and the end time for the revision suppose you are um, planning for a shutdown i am putting some start date i am planning a shutdown for the plant of five days i am entering the shutdown start short date and shutdown end date start time and end time and functional locations if you are planning only for specific functional location you can restrict and system will check the functional locations w base element or network we can input but that is used for accounting purposes now we are going to enter only that start date and end time so we can utilize for any functional location and any orders Next we will see about that uh, uh, T codes involved and also the business scenario mapping. How we can map the business scenario of a uh, revision of a shutdown maintenance process with that uh, revision. So here we can see the create revisions through T code uh, O I O B and uh, we can assign while creating the maintenance order also we can assign the revisions or after uh, as a, after creation we can assign the revision to maintenance order. So business scenario mapping you can see here. So this business scenario can be mapped with this revision. So uh, how can we main, uh, map the shutdown maintenance with the revisions? So assume you you are working in industry and planning uh, planning a shutdown maintenance for uh, five days. Okay. So how how we can plan? So I, uh, for the shutdown maintenance, I will create uh, n number of orders, multiple orders we are creating a multiple orders so how can we track those orders uh, how can i differentiate the uh, standard order type with this shutdown maintenance orders so i may create the orders for corrective maintenance breakdown maintenance all and how can i differentiate the shutdown maintenance orders and collect only the cost for the shutdown maintenance so that uh, differentiation for tracking and uh, collecting the cost that can be made through so i want to uh, collect this cost only uh, whatever the cost you incurred during the shutdown maintenance i want to collect the cost and uh, for to the different settlement receiver or i uh, need to track it uh, track this shutdown maintenance orders uh, in a very close monitoring conditions so i am using the revisions so i will create the revisions with the start date and end date whatever the shutdown maintenance planned and will assign the revisions to the maintenance order once i assign the revisions to maintenance order it will copy the dates 
whatever the shutdown maintenance plan it will copy the dates to the maintenance order automatically so the assignment will happen and uh, so whenever i list out the maintenance orders whenever i need to list out what are all the maintenance orders uh, created for the shutdown maintenance so i can go to that listing anywhere iw38 or 39 so with that revisions number i can list out all the maintenance orders whatever created for the specific shutdown so that is possible through this uh, revision and also can settle the cost to the settlement receiver different settlement receiver for the shutdown maintenance so that is the main purpose we, uh, that's why we are creating the uh, revisions and uh, can be mapped for the specifically for shutdown maintenance that uh, so uh, this is a simple scenario with the revisions but also we have a project based maintenance shutdown maintenance that also possible with the linking of a project we can, we need to for that we need to create a project wbs elements and assigning the uh, create networks and assigning orders to networks so through that uh, it is possible so we can track uh, through project we can um, map the shutdown maintenance also through project based uh, structure that is also possible or also we have a maintenance event builder functionality so that uh, that is a different functionality that is also used to plan the long term maintenance event to work packages so for that uh, we will uh, assign the revisions to that uh, notifications and uh, notifications through that uh, the orders can be generated automatically in the maintenance event builder and the project uh, if required project pmps through that pmps reference element project can also be assigned to that uh, orders so orders will be linked to this wbs elements networks and uh, we can uh, track through that project structure so what are all the orders and uh, we can uh, divide the maintenance activity into different separate wbs elements networks so orders can be mapped to networks and collect the cost and uh, for tra tracking it will be easy here we are going to use uh, see the simple scenario of a uh, revisions later on we will see those business processes here we will see it in the system how we can create the revisions and assign the revisions to maintenance order I am opening SAP system and T code OIOB. Okay, already there is a shutdown revisions created for a November month. Shutdown for the month. We will create it for December month from uh, date uh, 1 to 5 days. We will plan for the shutdown of uh, 5 days. Okay, so I am entering the descriptions, revision code and the description and the revision start date and the end date also need to be time and uh, we will i will put it uh, here one one to five so it will be for five days and eight am i will put okay so my, my shutdown begins here and ends on five five twelve And the time 5 p.m. I will choose. Okay, so revision completed indicator also you can see here. So once it is done, uh, orders done, then we can close the revisions, complete the revisions by marking the indicator here. Here there is a so after clicking and save that revisions will be completed once orders and uh, notification closed so i'm saving this and uh, now the next step is we will assign these revisions to the maintenance orders okay so i am entering so our uh, maintenance order creations that is iw31 okay so i am using the pm01 standard order type 
selecting equipment which we already created press enter so we will get this is object information key warranty check warranty check it is in warranty so just for display it will change so we'll see it and enter enter a description of order just entering so here you can see the revision field so here only we need to assign the created already created revision now you can see the basic start date and finish date what it is it is october month and november month but our shutdown is planned for uh, december month first to fifth so now after i choose now see after i choose uh, the revision already created revision so i am selecting revisions by technical object all the revisions will be displayed i am choosing our revision december shutdown for month so after choosing it the dates will change basic start date and end date will be copied automatically from the revision from one first december to fifth december it will change automatically see this is in information message so automatically that is copied So now let's see the cost tab. Uh, there will be nothing is there. So we will see it afterwards. You can check the different tabs, and now we can uh, save this uh, maintenance order. So as I said, uh, we can create a uh, multiple orders like this, and a uh, group under one revision. So this revision DEC two thousand two zero one two. can be assigned to multiple maintenance orders and this with this revisions code dec 2012 in iw38 we can list it out by listing the maintenance order so all the maintenance order created under this revision number will be displayed so we can it is easy for tracking during the shutdown maintenance what are all the orders created specially for the shutdown maintenance and we can also assign these orders to special settlement receiver so uh, that the cost tracking purpose also can be done with the help of the revisions so that is the simple business scenario with the revisions so next we will see with the maintenance orders what are all the different types of orders business process uh, so it will be clear understanding for you understanding this uh, revision concept will help to learn uh, that a project based maintenance with the maintenance event builder so we will see in next videos these are all the master datas we are going to see along with this business process in the upcoming videos thanks for watching subscribe for updates